Oh yeah, right. Like, <laughs> like and subscribe. Just do it. Car is a '56 Buick Century, and it has um, big block Chevy and a five-speed Camaro suspension in the front. Narrowed, narrowed in the back with 18-inch wide tires. Fun car. Um, just, just built it last winter and uh, took it on a big road trip a couple weeks ago. Did 29 hours in two days of driving and it worked fine. It's pretty fun. So now it's uh, take it to the next level for next year. Throw a couple turbos on it. It's going to be nuts. I know I'll get to you in time And even though you got that body I'm only in the for your mind So, tell me about your car. Uh, this car has been, uh, it lived most of its life in the valley. It belonged to a fisherman out in the uh, Crescent Valley area and it had been sitting in a field for 16 years when I got it. Our originally came with 84 horsepower and now it has 275. Uh, so the garage auto repair um, is my business. That's located in downtown Nelson. My name is Kerry. Nice to meet you. I'm Liz. Nice to meet you, Liz. So can you tell me about your car? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a replica of a Shelby Cobra, 1965. Uh, it's been on the road now for 23 years, and uh, I built it. Uh, ordered a kit and, uh, and a donor car and made one car out of two. Yeah. Well, it definitely is a beautiful car. Originally it was my father's car. He bought it new in 54 uh, out of Trail Motors and Trail. And um, unfortunately he passed away in 59. I was eight years old. Um, it stayed in the family. My mother never drove, and but my sister was in need of a car. So she sold it to her sister. And I said to her, I said, here you rid of that car. I want that car. So. Anyways, uh, 1978, she calls and gives me the car. She bought another one, and and um, so you know, uh, kids, mortgage, no money. It, it was in storage for a lot of years. Then, and finally, in 1997, I started to restore it, and um, it was a nine-year project. Uh, it was a frame-up restoration. Um, everything is brought back, totally original to the day my dad drove it off the lot. That includes the carpet, the wind lace, the headliner, the engine, the paint, everything.
Okay, it's... <laughs> so, hi, um, what's your name? It's Mike. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Elizabeth. Do you want to tell me about your car? Sure, it's a, it's a 1953 uh, MG TD. Uh, we had it for about a year. Just finally got it on the road. Oh, really? So, first car show. and Nice. Phenomenal car show, having a great day. Have so, you restored it or anything like that? Uh, we bought it pretty much restored. Oh, pretty Did a little, much. little bit of the work, a little bit of the final work to get it back on the road again, but yeah. It looks really good. Well, Ooh. thanks very much. I am Elizabeth. What's your name? Uh, my name is Dennis. Nice to meet you. Would you mind telling me about your car? This is a 1957 Studebaker Silverhawk. We've had it for 22 years. We had it completely redone the year before COVID hit. Yes. It's all repainted, great down body, body frame, everything. And uh, we enjoy driving it. It's got the original engine in it. It's all stock. And it, you know, it is a collector's car, yes. which we enjoy a lot. Yeah. Get a lot of nice comments. <laughs> yes, who doesn't enjoy that? <laughs> yes, and we do enjoy it. Yeah. As you see the tigers in there, yeah. I'm a tiger lover. I love that touch. 1956, Studebaker uh, uh, built this engine. It's a 289, sweepstakes 289, and they had what they called a supercharger on it. Oh, yeah. And it set the land speed record uh, at Bonneville Salt Flats, which they do to this day, actually, and set the record for 1956, 1957, and 1958. That's pretty Steve impressive. Was, yes. <laughs> and this is that one of those engines that are in here. It's a lot of fun, and I come over from Revelstoke, and I spend the weekend here where my, my brother lives in Castlegar, so I spend it with him. The perfect cruising car. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> I belong to the Studebaker Drivers Club, and there's a couple Golden Hawks in it, but not not too many Silver Hawks. These fins, when we went down to metal on it, they're pop riveted on. They, 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 what happened in 1957, this car beside me came out, and you see their fins. Lowy, the guy that designed these, he said, we got to do something. So what they did, he took a drawing and just put the fin on. And these are literally pop riveted on. Yeah, thank you It's for nice your talking time. to you folks. We got this really crazy vehicle. You want to see? <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. GMC truck engine, Detroit diesel blowers. This is the original GMC V12 built in 1965. 720 cubic inches. All the blower drive, everything on the top of the engine, I built all that. The car is a 29 Chev. It was my grandfather's car. So it's been in the family all my life and then some.
Alrighty, so I'm Elizabeth. What's your name? My name's Dennis. Nice to meet you. So tell me all about your car. Uh, it was my lifelong dream to uh, have a 50 Merc. My father had a 50 Merc, uh, but he had the Woody Wagon, and uh, I wasn't allowed to have it. So <laughs> uh, it's been a lifelong dream to try to find one of these, and I finally found one. And nice. uh, it's been a major project. I didn't go with a, a modern engine. I went with the original engines. So, oh, yeah. And it has its uh, a trickery. Um, I wasn't really happy with the patina idea initially, yeah. right? So um, I wanted to have the body work done. But I also wanted to drive the car before I died. Because I, I kept the hood down because, you know, I wasn't exactly pleased with my end wiring project. And I was still <laughs> working on this car right to the last day, right? Yeah. So it is in drivable shape, mind you. But, uh, but yeah, it's not, you know. I'm not done by any stretch of the imagination, but I just wanted to bring it. So this has got uh, the original 255 uh, uh, Mercury motor in it, um, and it's uh, a stroker. So, um, yeah, flathead motor, yes, indeed. And a very unique sounding motor too at that. Uh, so it's a little bit larger than uh, uh, the Ford to, uh, 239. Uh, being a stroker and it's a super cool motor, but it's really difficult to work on. Oh boy, I'm telling you. As, as, as it looks like it's really easy and there's lots of space in there, but no. boy, if you ever have to do the valves on this thing, I'm telling you the best way to do it is to remove the engine. Some of the original wiring is still yeah, here. Yes, I know it's that. Yeah, but that's it's all it's all pretty low voltage, low current, so I didn't have to really worry about that. The main system has been uh, uh, already wired up with fresh wire, so I'm running a 612 arrangement here, which I'm still playing with. So I'm running with the original six volt system, but I decided that uh, I want the engine to spin over faster, so I'm running a 12 volt for the starter only. All sorts of hot uh, Offenhauser goodies that I haven't yet to put on, so next year when this car shows up, it's probably going to have the, all the hot fancy goodies, and it's going to look a lot prettier. Right? Nice. But meanwhile, we're down the road and we are driving. Yeah, that's we what are counts. driving. That's yeah. all oh, that yeah, 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 man. Got a cruise, <laughs> got to get it, got to get it happening. No delays, um, you know, I don't care if there's holes in the side or whatever, as long as it stops, which it does beautifully. Good, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's running great. That's yeah. that's all I need, man. I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> right? So it, uh, I've been picking up whatever I can for the last 20 years. 
actually to get ready to in order to get this and then I found this car so it, it went that way because I knew sooner or later I was going to find a 50 Merc sooner or later I just got to keep working at it right so it is a target car it's not just something I found or whatever I looked forever to find one of these. So, thank you very call much. you. Can you do all the wrench work for me? No. Hey, I'll sure. break your car. I've already tried to get her to do wrench work for me. <laughs> no. <laughs>
need to get inside your head I got to know if you insane I wanna swim around your bloodstream I may cast cradle with your veins Am I alive or am I dead? To me they power the design I'm gonna bite Don't get me wrong, I kinda like them feisty I know I'll get to you in time And even though you got that body I'm only in the for your mind Oh my god, really? No yeah. That is a cool bus yeah, it is. It's like a giant toy hauler for your chupacabra. That is rad. Oh, that is rad. Sorry. Yeah, I gotta get a picture of that. That is so cool. I know you're thinking I'm possessed. I'm sick or maybe crazed But I assure you that I feel just peachy I'm feeling better every day I only get a little touchy When I am hungry for some brain Driving by and stuff like that Yeah, that is cool That is very cool setup. Very cool. Um, I'm guessing it raced years ago. Uh, it raced weeks ago. Weeks ago. Weeks ago. So what do you run for a quarter mile? It'll do mid tens. Yeah. Okay, about 1069 is most best it's gone. Under and 130. Okay. Uh, you guys got my vote for best of show. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. I like it.